Mel Engelstad is one of the toughest players ever to play the game of hockey. There, I said it. Whether you called him Mad Mel or the Mangler, he was the toughest guy on the ice on any team that he played for. I used to go see Mel Engelstad play in my hometown of Thunder Bay back when he played for the Thunder Bay Thunderhawks. Then they became a farm team for the Ottawa Senators and later went on to become the Thundercats. And Mel played for five years in the Colonial Cup Hockey League here in town. And it was the place to be on a Saturday night. We'd always go to the fights and watch a hockey game break out. He was never drafted by any team and only played two regular season games in the NHL. But Mad Mel cemented his legacy as the toughest player who ever played the game. Over his 20-year career that spanned four decades, three continents, playing in five different countries, in 15 different leagues, and for 23 teams overall, not including one year in roller hockey. Engelstad amassed an impressive 5,400 penalty minutes during this time. When the Ottawa Senators were first brought back into the league, Engelstad had a tryout with the team, wasn't quite good enough to make the big team, but was sent down to the PEI Senators of the IHL, and then sent back down to the Thunder Bay Senators of the Colonial Hockey League, where he won two Colonial Cup championships while with the Thunder Bay Senators. In July of 1998, Engelstad was signed to the Dallas Stars organization and played in a few preseason games for Dallas before being sent back down to the minors. He did, however, manage to get into a fight with the late, great Bob Probert during the short stint in Dallas. After five more years of grinding on the senior and semi-pro league circuit, Engelstad finally got the call that he had been signed by the Washington Capitals and was to suit up for his first ever regular season NHL game during the 2003-2003-2004 NHL season. He would further make hockey history by being the only player up until that point in the NHL to wear the number 69. And why would he wear the number 69? 69! Take the number 69! It's hilarious! His NHL appearance on Washington was brief, but also immortalized in two different hockey cards that came out in the 0405 season, immortalizing him as part of NHL history. After his two-game stint with Washington, Engelstadt went back down to the semi-pro leagues for a few more years, before officially retiring from hockey in 2007 after playing a few games for the Adelaide Avalanche in the Australian International Hockey League. He did, however, suit up for seven games in 2011 with the Bentley Generals in the Chinook Hockey League. He now works as a firefighter in the Fort McMurray, Alberta area. He did make a cameo appearance in the film Goon, Last of the Enforcers, in which he fights the main character, Doug Glatt, played by Sean William Scott. Jesus Christ on a bike. Fuck you, Black! I myself had been quietly collecting Mel Engelstad memorabilia over the past few years because I always found him an interesting player and part of the local history here in Thunder Bay. And it was a few years ago that I had a chance meeting. Uh, as I do work in the tourism industry, I got a chance to meet uh, Mel Engelstad when he checked in to my hotel late at night. I ran to the phone, called my fiance at home, and begged her to bring my game-used Portland Pirates Anglestad stick to work. Uh, of course she did, because she loves me and I love her. And 
I got Mel to sign it when he checked in. He was a little impressed. Uh, he also told me to come back the next day with a silver or gold Sharpie and he would sign it again, which he did. And I also asked him if it was okay if I brought uh, a jersey along that he could sign. He was more than impressed that I actually owned a jersey of his and was more than happy to sign it. So those are two proud display pieces on my wall at home. Even though his time in the NHL was brief, Mel Engelstad's 20-year career amassed him over 5,400 penalty minutes, which is more than Dave Tiger Williams, Dale Hunter, Ty Domi, Bob Probert, and Marley McSorley posted in their long NHL careers, even including their minor league stats. And it just goes to show you, you don't have to be an NHLer to make hockey history. For the Rangers, Mike Green, the goal scorer. For the Caps, Jeff Halpern. Hi, everybody. Craig Lachlan upstairs. And what a game it is for Mel Angelstad. He's making his NHL debut. It's been a long road for you, Mel. Is this day very, very special? Well, you can put it this way. I'm hoping no one hits me too hard out there. I might wake up. <laughs> so it's been a great ride for you, huh? Oh, it's been unbelievable. I mean, just to get it out of the way, I can't thank Tim Army, our coach in Portland, enough. And, uh, the general manager here, George, Mc, George McPhee, and everybody along the way. The Washington Capitals for giving an old man like me a chance to uh, have a day like this. Uh, it's a dream come true and, uh, and nothing short of that. Okay, go through your feelings. We've got your first shift queued up here. What are you feeling in your first shift in the NHL? Well, I tell you, if you had the heart rate monitor on me, it would be about 210. <laughs> I'm trying not to fall down and remember what hockey is. And uh, like I said, I'm just trying to stay in position and pray that, uh, you know, I don't get scored on it. Things don't go bad, and you know what, kids? That's not the way to think out there. Man, is this a childhood dream or what? <laughs> it's unbelievable, and uh, I'm getting more ice time than I do in Portland. So <laughs> uh, I'm a little tired, and, uh, and I'm excited. Uh, uh, Can we expect day. some stuff later on, or what? Well, uh, I had a talk with Sandy McCarthy out there, and he didn't feel how's up to he it. Do how's he doing today, by the way? He's doing good, and he, he doesn't think he's got it today. So <laughs> probably my next stop will be old big uh, McAllister. And, Hopefully I'm not so tired that I can uh, get my way through it. Wow, Mel, it's a great story. Congratulations. Keep it going the rest of the way, huh? Thank you guys very much. And again, uh, thank the Washington Capitals. All right, Mel Angel, stat our guest. You can.